What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do an ultrasound. Alrighty, so of course, you're gonna need an ultrasound. You're also gonna need one of these. And more specifically, what is inside, which is transmission gel. Without this, you're not gonna be able to see anything. This is uh, provide you with an image uh, from the snake through the wand to your ultrasound. And if you get an ultrasound, Make sure that when you get it, you get a uh, linear wand, okay? Do not get one of the stick stick ones or one of the concave ones that they call. Those are not gonna work. You need to have a flat wand for your snakes or else you're not gonna be able to uh, get a good image, okay? So that's very, very important. All right, of course you're gonna need a snake female preferably <laughs> if you hope to see anything and on this one if I'm lucky she is gonna be over 30 millimeter follicles uh, I ultrasound her last month I believe it was and she was a 20 something so today we're gonna see as you can see in the ultrasound right now once I put the transmission 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 gel, um, you start you're gonna be able to start seeing things in your ultrasound. In this case, you can only see the gel. But what you want to do is figure out where half of of your snake is. What half is? So in this case, I'm gonna call this half. Now the follicles are not gonna be starting at the half. They're gonna be lower down. But it's a good uh, good rule uh, to start start at half. I just feel like that is way way easier for most people. Anyone can tell where half of the snake is. So you're gonna start. This is the spine of my snake. The top. You're gonna start on the side. Okay. Ideally, you want her to be flat. Okay. But if she's not flat, just work with what you have because there's going to be some snakes that are very you know they don't like to be touched i think uh, this one's not too bad but we're gonna see so like i said start on the side right at half of the snake and right away right away you're gonna start seeing vertical lines those are the ribs okay and i'm gonna start moving down downward on the snake now for pressure just as soon as you know you put pressure but that you don't move the snake okay that's about how much pressure you need okay maybe a little bit more if the snake starts to move you can just hold her but that's about how much pressure you need and you're gonna start moving down and down okay the transmission gel is gonna move to the to the top so just kind of slide it down on your snake because you're gonna need it yeah want to make sure that you have plenty of transmission gel now here's where the technique is gonna start i'm not seeing anything yet oh i think i see something right there so i'm gonna put a little bit more pressure okay and you can kind of see a better image right there if i let go of the pressure now the image is not so clear put a little bit more pressure now we'll start seeing them now Notice how if I move up on the snake, if I put pressure again, and I move up and down, I want, or in this case, back and forth, you can kind of see the ball right there. If you go back to the side where you were, okay, you can do the same thing, and you can start seeing a very clear image of those eggs, okay? And notice how far down I'm on the snake right now. That's how far down the snakes actually, the eggs actually start. I started right here about half. And right here is when I started encountering some of those eggs. So I'm going to start again going down till I find the very first one. Now, you see that black spot right there? That's the uh, uh, gallbladder, I believe. Yeah, I think that's the gallbladder. So once you see that black spot, that spot is always gonna be uh, dark. Right next to it, 
you're gonna start seeing your X. And again, up and down, and you start getting a much better image. Okay, you keep moving down, you're gonna start finding more. Right there, you already can see two, four, five X, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find one and then go up and down until I get a pretty good clear image and I'm going to freeze right there. I'm not gonna teach you where the freeze button is because every ultrasound can be different. So some might not be the same. Once I already have that frozen image, I can go ahead and wipe off the transmission gel from my snake and put her back. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and measure, use the measure feature on my ultrasound. We're gonna measure the distance from one end of the egg. You don't have to be super precise to the other end. And we have 22, okay? So I am not seeing any good progress from where she was last time. I need to go back on my records and see where she was. But we have 22, which is still good, okay? I just need to uh, pair her up again and see if that gets her going. But anyway, let's do another girl. So we're gonna need a little bit more transmission gel. It's a nice line that covers the, uh, the probe. Okay. Yes, I know, you're scary. Anyway, so I'm going to call this half of my snake. <laughs> she does not want to cooperate. So let's see if we can see anything the way she is laying out. And sometimes it's easier if she's going this way to come on this side. I know and start looking oh so right there i'm already seeing that bladder so i'm gonna keep moving down and every so often every quarter inch half an inch i'm gonna move down and do this up and down motion and see if i see anything again there you go so we can see those tiny little follicles nothing really going on i'm going to go back again to the beginning and go down there it is the bladder again go down move my probe up and down keep going down there they are okay so nothing going on not even enough for me to measure Okay, I will just uh, make a note to pair her and check back next month and see if there's any development. All right, one more girl. Let's see what happens with this girl. Again, by half the snake, I'm gonna start going down, move my pro open up and down. Keep going down, up and down, up and down. I'm starting to see some spots, something going on there. There you go. So again, move it up. I mean, move it down, move it up. You can see how they appear and disappear. So a lot of times you can be around the spot. You just need to adjust the angle a little bit. Think about the uh, wand kind of like a flashlight, okay? And a very concentrated flashlight uh, where the light doesn't kind of like disperse to the size where it's very concentrated, kind of like a laser. And wherever that laser is pointing, that's where you're gonna see. So of course you wanna point up and down and make sure that you're getting the full picture. So for that girl, um, once you start getting familiar with what certain millimeters look like 10 20 30 millimeters uh 15 25 like that increments of five millimeters you start getting pretty good at just eyeballing without having to measure anything and just calling okay that's 
10 millimeters, you know, that's 15 millimeters. If you're off by a couple millimeters, doesn't really matter, in my opinion, okay? Unless you're very anal like that and you wanna be extremely accurate. But for the most part, you know, when you're at 10, you're in good shape, you start preparing. If you see 15, you're moving in the right direction, 20, 25, 30, you know, 35, you're doing your last pairings, etc. cetera. Uh, that's usually, at least for me, um, you know, just eyeballing it is good enough for me. But of course you can always do the freezing and the distance and measure out your follicles, make sure that everything's looking right um, until you feel more confident, more comfortable, just eyeballing it like I do. Anyway guys, hopefully that helps. Um, if you have any questions or something wasn't clear, please let me know. And I'll try to address it at a later video. Thanks. See you next time.